Here you can see a dung beetle has dug a hole under here. Oh, there it goes. There's the hole right there. Underneath this pile of manure. You can also see there's a slug eating. And there is a young badger shat. So a young badger shat here when it was eating insects that had come uh, to feed off of that uh, pile of dung. It was marking its territory and saying, this is my pile of manure, these are my insects that I'm gonna be eating here. So there's a bit of shit on shit conversation. Now, if I open this up, you can see all the little holes there and there. I don't know if you can see, that's a hole there, that's a hole there. It's full of insect life in there. And that is what feeds your biodiversity. That feeds the dung beetles and the insect life that survive on manure and get their vitamins and minerals from the manure are what creates biodiversity. You can hear the birds singing. This also helps biodiversity. This rowan tree with its berries that's a evergreen oak tree that we have planted here. Over here, you can see the holly tree and the rowan tree with all their berries. And then over here is a crab apple tree. So these are all food for insects, birds, and wildlife. And the dogs are now nestling around my special pile of manure that I was demonstrating on. Oh, you're so good. But that's the importance of the herbivore, be it a ruminant or a horse, in biodiversity. This pile of manure is completely gone almost. You can see it's scattered all over. That's birds. You can see right here, there, is the dung beetle hole. Right there. Right, into, right there is the dung beetle hole. <laughs> she wants to dig the dung beetle up as she's wont to do. But this was a pile of manure, a few days old, and it's gone. Dispersed by birds and insects and badgers. And potentially even foxes. Foxes eat insects as well. Inca, leave it. Leave the dung beetle. Inca, leave the dung beetle. Come on, leave it alone. Good girl. This is another example of, this is the wildlife has spread this pile of manure. It was full of insects. So the birds came down and had a high protein fix from all the insect life that was eating the manure. Now, if I was worming my livestock, the insect population wouldn't be doing so well, which wouldn't in turn feed the birds. So we really need ruminant or herbivore manures, big piles of it, to get the biodiversity going again. Here you can see this has been scratched open by birds and badgers and all kinds of things. These are all older bits of manure. That's where you see wildlife. And it's all due to the way I'm grazing the horses so that there's a good biodiversity under the ground as well. See, that's scattered. Now, this is a fresh poo. It's only a very recent dropping. So, very little activity. You can just see the beginnings. Those little holes right there are insects going in all ready to eat the manure. Isn't that right, Brindle? She's a bit worried. She got stung by the electric fence earlier and she can hear it ticking. It's very nerve-wracking electric fences, isn't it? You good girl. Good girl. You good girl. Yeah. Yeah.